Bottling is not a term that is associated with city. It's not. For better or for worse, as much as I'm one of the most optimistic Arsenal fans, hoping, he was hoping that we can actually win the Premier League, Premier League this season. Let me say it's tough. Will City bottle it at the Amex tonight against Brighton? It is not impossible, but is it probable? Because City are, City are going to be handsomely motivated. They want to do a 4P. Nobody has done a 4P. They will want to do it. We know Pep and the players can see the, 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 the periphery of the, of the trophy already. So there's enough motivation to push them to the finish line. But like myself and a lot of Arsenal fans and some rival fans, we're all hanging on that trade, that glimmer of hope that maybe, just maybe, Brighton might have something for City. Maybe or just today, Brighton will come that Brighton. You see, Bright, Brighton are that team that you don't know the version of Brighton you get. You can get a, a version of Brighton that can play superbly and win and beat the biggest teams. And you can get another version of Brighton can just implode and become an embarrassment of themselves. So we do not know what Brighton will get. But, like I said, I'm going to hang on to that trail of hope, that glimmer, right? That fading hope. I'm going to hang on to it. But it's not impossible. But probability is tough. Look at the quality of players that City have. And let's not forget the, the significant injuries that Brighton have. My Thomas is out for the season. I think Siso is back. I know they have a few injuries that are keep to the key, key players. And they've lost uh, a few of their key players uh, in, the, in the last two years to, to transfer. So, and Eusebi's uncertainty about his future. Is he leaving for Bayern or is he staying? So, those are the other factors that makes it a little bit difficult for the, the most optimistic of Arsenal fans to, to pump their chest that Bryson will emphatically do something. It's not impossible. That's what I'm hanging on to. It is not impossible. We saw yesterday Everton you know, actually uh, you know, <laughs> stumble into the, 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 the title aspirations and the hopes of Liverpool by beating them at the Messi side. So when it comes to this business uh, end of the season, a lot of things can happen. I remember I said it a few weeks ago, like even on paper, certain fixtures look very straightforward and easy but the spirit of the game can be different what is at stake at that time can be very different and when people are fighting for their life like the survivors for them to stay in Premier League, which rights are not fighting for but they want to have some pride they want to see so yeah, it's even even dangerous sometimes when you are playing against a team that the jeopardy is zero rights are not going to get relegated they're not going to make any european sport so they might play with a lot of freedom and when teams play with that kind of freedom it can be very, very dangerous. While City, with, with, with all their experience, are playing with a lot of pressure. Now, I'm not saying that City don't have the experience of handling pressure, but when a team is playing a lot of pressure and Jeopardy is involved, another team is just playing freestyle. Like, it's like fighting he that is down. They fear no fall. It is dangerous to fight he that is down that fears no fall. So that is the hope. That is the of hope I'm hanging on to. It's not impossible. It is not impossible because Brighton have some quality players. Even since Phil is on form, uh, the, the, the striker, the Brazilian, is it Pedro, if he's on form, if Egosin is on form, even, even Welbeck, the more maligned Welbeck, if he's on form, it could be a very dodgy evening. A dodgy evening for City. And his City don't convert their chances and they have a poor half like they had against Chelsea in the first half in the FA Cup. It could be a very, very smelly night. So, all hope is not lost. At the same time, I'm not going to be delusionally optimistic. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm not going to see myself. City are a very monstrous team. They can go to Brighton and hit them for four or five. Very possible. On the flip side, we know City always leave the door open. That has been my encouragement since the turn of the year. I've been saying to a lot of you guys that City and Liverpool always leave the door just leave it a little bit open they click it open a little for, for the opponent so that is my hope and if brighton could score and hang on to the lead and city are desperate to equalize and they could hit city on the counter we know city are not great defending counter so that's what i'm hanging on to i am hanging on to that that glimmer of hope and let's see what will happen but if city wins nobody will surprise but if brighton wins if brighton win today if brighton win today 
there will be a lot of celebrations. Even though it will seem premature, but that will be a lot of encouragement. That will bump up the uh, Arsenal going to play sports at, at the weekend. A lot of motivation. So let's see what will happen at the end of, uh, end of tonight. Let's see. Will Brighton do Arsenal in favour? We'll find out. Or will Brighton implode as usual? Are City going there to romp on them? We'll find out tonight. So on your way out, let me know your, your, your opinions in the comment section. Uh, strike a like on the video. Very, very important. Uh, subscribe, your name is subscribe, very, very important. And make sure you turn on your notion bill, extremely important. And I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully, with a with a more optimistic news. Bye for now. <laughs>